This is an overview of the history of health care. It covers medical advances and beliefs from prehistoric times to the present. The medical symbol. This symbol is called the caduceus. It is believed that this symbol has represented healing since ancient times. It has now become the symbol of the physician or doctor. In ancient Greece, Asclepius was the god of healing, and people went to the temple dedicated to him to pray for cures for their ailments. The History of Health Care Hippocrates is often referred to as the father of Western medicine. He was born in the 4th century BC. Plato and Aristotle both wrote about Hippocrates. The Hippocratic Collection consists of 60 different medical books which spanned over 150 years. Not all of these books were written by Hippocrates. Hippocrates believed the work done by a doctor should be kept separate from that of a priest. He believed that the observation of a patient was an important aspect of care. Hippocrates also believed in a systematic recording of observations. He thought that diseases had a natural cause rather than a supernatural one. Prehistory and the Ancient World Primitive times were from 4000 BC to 3000 BC. During that time, people believed that demons and spirits caused disease and illness. Tribal witch doctors treated illnesses with ceremonies to drive out evil spirits. Herbs and plants were used as medicine. Trepanning, or boring a hole in the skull, was used to treat ailments such as insanity, epilepsy, and headache. The skull illustrated here dates back to 3500 BC, which was the Neolithic period. It shows a large trepanning hole that was made using a silex. The patient was a girl, and she survived the treatment. In many cultures, a terrible headache would sometimes call for a hole in the head. The average lifespan during this period was probably about 20 years. Ancient Egyptians 3000 BC to 300 BC The ancient Egyptians were the first to maintain health records. They believed the gods would heal diseases. Physicians were priests who studied medicine and surgery in religious medical schools. The ancient Egyptians believed the body was a system of channels for air, tears, blood, and urine. Bloodletting or leeches were used to open those channels. Magic and medicinal plants were also used by the ancient Egyptians to treat disease. Back in that time, the average lifespan was 20 to 30 years. The Ancient Greeks and Ancient Romans The Greeks began modern medical science by observing the human body and the effects of disease. Hippocrates was one of the most famous Greeks. Another famous Greek was Aristotle. He lived from 384 BC to 322 BC. He was called the father of anatomy. Aristotle dissected animals, and he believed illness was the result of natural causes. He stressed diet and cleanliness as ways to prevent disease. The Romans were the first to provide organized medical care by providing for injured soldiers. They began public health and sanitation systems such as aqueducts and sewers. The Romans drained marshes in order to reduce the spread of malaria. One famous Roman was Claudius Galen. He lived from 130 A.D. to 200 A.D. Galen was born to Greek parents. He became the chief physician to the gladiator school. Claudius Galen is the most famous doctor from the Roman Empire. His theories dominated European medicine for 1,500 years. Diet, exercise, and medications were used to treat disease during these times. The average lifespan of the ancient Roman was 25 to 35 years. The Dark Ages, 400 A.D. to 800 A.D. During the Dark Ages, emphasis was on saving the soul. The study of medicine was prohibited. Prayer and divine intervention was used to treat illness and disease. Monks and priests provided custodial care for the sick during the Dark Ages. 
Medicines were mainly herbs. The average lifespan was 20 to 30 years. Middle Ages, 500 A.D. to 1500 A.D. It was during this time that an Islamic scholar known as Raises discovered the difference between smallpox and measles. You can find out more information about this man and his discovery at the website listed here. During the Middle Ages, the bubonic plague killed three-fourths of the population in Europe and Asia. The major diseases then were smallpox, diphtheria, tuberculosis, typhoid, malaria, and the plague. During this time, there were barber surgeons who performed surgeries, bloodletting, and amputations. This is when the regulation and licensing of male physicians began. During the Middle Ages, most caregivers were members of religious orders. The average lifespan was between 20 and 35 years. The Renaissance, 1300 to 1600. The printing press was invented by Johann Gutenberg during this time period. The scientific method was introduced during the Renaissance. It was also during this time that the first microscope was built, and studies of human anatomy was the focus. This time was known as the Age of Enlightenment, due to the explosion of knowledge that occurred. The Industrial Revolution, the late 1700s to the 1800s. This is when Edward Jenner developed a vaccine for smallpox in 1796. It was also during the Industrial Revolution that the father of pulmonology, René Lenec, invented the stethoscope in 1819. Technology led to the ability to see blood cells, bacteria, and protozoa during the Industrial Revolution. It was also when capillaries were first discovered. In 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first female physician in the United States. During this time, Louis Pasteur discovered that microorganisms cause disease, and this led to the pasteurization of milk to kill bacteria. In 1885, Pasteur also created a vaccine for rabies. The Industrial Revolution was also when Joseph Lister started the practice of using disinfectants and antiseptics during surgery to prevent infection. In addition, Florence Nightingale founded modern nursing, Robert Koch discovered pathogens, and ether started being used for anesthesia. Modern Times from the early 1900s to today. A rapid growth in health care began in the early 1900s. New discoveries began changing the medical world dramatically. It was during this time that antibiotics were invented to treat bacterial infections. Penicillin was discovered much by accident in the late 1920s by Sir Alexander Fleming. Radium for CA treatment was invented during the modern times. There has been an increased usage of x-rays during this time. Technology has led to widespread usage of non-invasive diagnostic tools such as CT scans, MRIs, and ultrasounds. Today, different types of organs are being successfully transplanted. In vitro fertilization is available and surgeons are able to use laser, micro, and computerized surgeries. There is a much longer lifespan today compared to the other time periods we have discussed.